Um, hi, welcome to Mrs. Calabash Cooks. I'm Maggie coming to our kitchen. Uh, today you'll notice I've got some herbs, I've got some steak, some oil and uh, some sea salt and pepper. You'll notice in the show I often refer to Mrs. Calabash seasoning. This is something I keep in a little pot by the, by the stove and I can use it. It's already pre-mixed. It's a ratio of three salt to one pepper. It doesn't matter if you use three pounds of salt, one pound of pepper. One teaspoonful of, uh, one tablespoonful of pepper, three tablespoons for the salt. Uh, this is quite a fine sea salt because I ground it in my little spice grinder. It was coarse and depending what I'm making, I don't always like a coarse sea salt. The pepper, again, I ground yesterday in my spice grinder. And that's it. It's just mixed together like that. So it's already pre-mixed when you come to use it. Um, just mix it around. And I'll just, I'm not going to put it all in, but I'll just show you what I do. I put it up. Maybe I can get it all in there. Uh, like that. And we just put it in. I normally do this over a piece of kitchen paper. And then if I spill any, I can just pour it straight in. And I keep this on the back next to my stove top. There we are. A little pot and it's got various things like that. Give it a quick shake before you use it. And that is Mrs. Calabash seasoning. Easy to use. And you pay a fortune for these seasonings. Um, now I'm going to do a herb barbecue mix. I'm using fresh herbs today. We have them in the garden. You can use dried. I in winter I dried my I got my herbs already dried for winter, and I mix them up and uh, dry them, use them, and then I use dried herbs instead of fresh herbs. So. For this, let me have a look because we've got various ones. I need some parsley. I'm going to, these have all just been washed. I need some parsley for something else. So I'm going to chop. My parsley is coming almost, it needs some regrowth. So I'm not going to have quite as much parsley as I, I, was, I, I was hoping. It's not too bad. So there's a teaspoonful of parsley. The next one is chives. And these are the chives. Freshly, uh, one teaspoonful of chives. There we are. Now I've used fresh chives today. Keep the end of the knife down whilst you're chopping have a knife that you feel comfortable with we just need these chopped we're not bothered about it being too fine because we're just going to put it onto the steak pull the board over and put your knife in so we've got parsley chives mint now you notice here i've got two different mints that's a spearmint and this is just a straightforward mint. How much mint do I need? Half a teaspoon. The mint's growing really well this year. I've got it growing in the wheelbarrow, in an old wheelbarrow out in the front garden. So it doesn't invade the rest of the garden. Mint, and what else have we got? A little tarragon and a little chives. Uh, a, a, a little tarragon and a little thyme, sorry. Fresh tarragon. To do the tarragon, just pull the leaves down like that. Like that, how much tarragon do I need? Not a lot because it really is quite strong. When you're using tarragon, just 
be a little bit cautious. It has a very pungent flavour. A little tarragon and a little fresh thyme. Again, pull down like that. And that again is just half a teaspoon. We can put a little more thyme. Mm. The smell. In England, we have thyme gardens. So uh, it's like a little rockery. And so we'll plant a citrus thyme, uh, all the different, a silver thyme, all the different thymes, and just let it climb over the rocks. And it's really very pungent. And I like to put it on the edge of the garden so that when you walk by, you brush it with your legs and the smell. Hmm? I love thyme. So there we are, like that. Now, that is the rub. Excuse me, my nose. Excuse me. There we are. I'll just wash my hands. Uh, the soap, I've got uh, a nice soap with oil of cloves in it, so it smells beautiful. Now, we're going to mix this with a little oil, and today I'm going to use grapeseed oil for one reason. I'm going to be grilling the steak, and the grapeseed oil, I can get to a higher temperature than I can an olive oil. So we'll just mix that with a little oil like that. This is the uh, rub, the steak, and I'm just going to add a shaking or two of my seasoning, like that. Mix it all together. I'm going to add a little more oil, and we're going to massage this into the steak. Now by massaging it into the steak, Bring your steak out of the fridge for about half an hour before you're going to use it. That will make a much tenderized steak. But I'm going to put this back into the fridge uh, uh, because we're going to cook this evening, cook this this evening for supper. So what I'm going to do is just put it on like this and gently massage in. Now by massaging the steak, then it makes it nice and tender you're just making the steak the meat whatever steak whatever meat it is you just massage gently and it relaxes the steak it's like having a massage to the body you know sort of ah you lay there and it's fantastic so we're going to put a little oil over that i'm going to cover that with some cling film and that is a nice herby rub this is a piece of tenderloin so we don't want any we don't want anything too spicy on the tenderloin because it's a very gentle flavor so there we are massage gently and that we will barbecue that this evening there we are a little cling film over that and into the fridge. Isn't it marvellous? You can never find the end. I've lost the box years ago. I don't know where that went to. So, like that. And that is going into the fridge until we're ready to eat for supper. I'll bring it out about half an hour prior to eating just so that it can relax and that sits in the fridge and that is supper almost prepared now to go with that blah, 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 blah. yeah we're going to do some um, in England we eat a lot of uh, herb butters which we put on fish and on meat and this because the tarragon's going really well this year I thought I'd do a tarragon and parsley butter and also the fact that my parsley is getting a little bit it's got to have some rain 
so I can it can grow again. So for this, you need a food processor or a beater, and I've got butter. Don't use butter that's straight out of the fridge. It won't work. It's got to be cool, but um, I'm just going to have to go over here and look for a spatula. It's got to be cool, yet still firm, and I'm going to put it, uh, hopefully, in this little food processor. And now then, um, we need uh, chopped tarragon, chopped parsley, and some lemon juice. There's my parsley. Uh, there's my tarragon. And quite honestly, I'm going to put a few... Um, it, there's no recipe for these. It's what you like. I'm going to put a few chopped chives in. I like chives. And the chives this year are growing really, really well. In fact, one bush of chives, uh, I thought... I had it growing inside, and I'm not very good with inside plants. I can grow outside, but not inside. And they were, ooh, I thought they were dead. But I planted them, and they're beautiful. They've bushed up. There we are. And I've got about a tablespoonful of lemon juice to go in with that. So all that's going to go together. Hang on a minute. Let's get this in its right position. I can never do it when I'm on camera. I always manage to mess it up. Let's get this. Isn't it marvellous? There we are. Sorry about that, folks. There we are. And I'm going to give just a lot of pulse this. The butter is still a little bit hard, funny enough. I took it out. The temperature is still quite warm here. But it's, it's cooled down quite a lot. And I took this out at um, 9 o'clock this morning. And it's now 10 past 12. And it's still a little bit hard. Let's put a little bit more chives in there. And I think we're going to add just a little bit, uh, another drop of lemon juice. I've got some... There we are. That's the end of the lemon juice. I've been drinking it with fizzy water. It makes a nice summer refreshing drink. There we are. That's good. And we won't, uh, we can use this bowl again, it's only what the, um, what the, um, mixture was in for the rub. So we're just going to mix all that lot together, like that, and this has to be chilled before it's, um, it's put on the meat. So let's see if we can put it into a roll, like that, and then we can roll it out and um, just put little slices on the meat when it's cooked and then it melts into the meat. You can freeze this if you make too much, that's fine, freeze it and then bring it out as needed. I'm trying not to get my hands into it. So, there we are. 
just make a nice roll out of it like that tuck the ends in and I'm going to put that in the fridge and that will cool till supper time and then we'll just chop a little bit off to put on the beans there we are and that is just a few drops some, for some steak enjoy all the fresh herbs in your garden I've got lots so I'll be losing herbs and lots of ideas at the moment and there's actually a tomato that's ready for picking if the sun shines today so we'll be doing tomatoes so bye